When I started making the Road to Kyria album, it was at the beginning of the pandemic. I couldn't catch a flight because all airports were closed. So I couldn't make it to, to see my family in, in Europe. So I was in Uganda and the world, as it seemed, was coming to an end. As I lay there in my room, I wondered, what if I didn't survive Corona? What is it that I would have left behind and would I be proud of it? Would I be proud of the man I am or that I became or the musician that I am or that I became? Would I be proud as a father? And I started wondering what have all the other albums been leading up to? And I decided, you know what? I'm going to make an album that's so true, so genuine, so honest, written during the toughest of my times. And that album, I would say it saved me to an extent, a great extent, I must say, because I wonder what I would have done in such a time without music or without the need to create or without the release of being in studio and singing my heart out. And then I wanted to create a body of work that will inspire a lot of young people. We, I'm very passionate about young people, especially back in my home country. There's so many talented artists who want to be wild, who want to experiment, who want to do things that most people would find strange musically. And I like to be the canvas that they can look up to and say, if Maurice did it, we can do it better. So this album for me, is a body of work um, that's not only art, but also it's, it's pure and it's meant to touch the soul. As cliche as that sounds. <laughs> Hi, my name is uh, Rick de Dorshorst and I'm the recording engineer from Studio A60. Hi, I'm Willem and I'm drummer and you can hear me on one of the songs of Maurice's album On the Road to Kirja. My name is Fidel Mambo. I play guitar and I play Tomorrow's Kiria album. Uh, my name is Julian Bone. I'm um, the piano player and keyboardist and uh, organ player who played uh, on Maurice Kiria's album. The names are Anis to Tim. Hi, I'm uh, Simone and I play guitar with Maurice and, uh, in his new album. Hi, I'm Jens. I'm the bass player for Maurice Kiria and we're working on his uh, new album right now. I cannot decide what my favorite song is on the album. Every week I, uh, <laughs> every week I would find a song and say, no, this is the one. This is the one I really like. The next week, Rick would send a new song after it's been mixed. I was like, you know what? I think this is the one. Actually, I have two favorite songs on the record. One of them is My Woman. That's a drum and bass featured uh, song on the album of Maurice. But I also, I also love uh, Sechika, how, how he sings that is also so beautiful. Uh, yeah. The song was before completely different. It was a total different vibe. But in the studio, we tried this 12 8 groove, and Marie said, Yeah, that's what I like. So we switched it and we turned the song into what it became as Sejiga right now. Because of this natural flow that came with the song, I like it so much. It feels really natural to me, and uh, I love it. But I love that kind of um, um, inspiration and creativity he brings along. So he comes with an idea, and it might change in a later phase so that happens all songs are dope but if i have to say it uh Senyiga is my favorite my favorite song is uh definitely entebe only god um mostly because of the story behind it my favorite song is betina it's a song i played on and it's a song that i feel is closer to home it's has more african elements the african percussions the african grooves He's, he's really inspiring to work with. I mean, he's so, his musical approach is so open and uh, he just kept bringing in new songs and uh, bringing in new instruments, new kind of musical elements and genres, which was uh, really cool to see. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of stuff that, that Maurice brings here. So he comes with idea one um, and in the process, he starts changing um, his idea, which is, I think our production or studio is meant to be. I want this to be an album that can be embraced by the whole world and for it to be the beginning of a great thing for many musicians back in my country. 
uh, there's a lot more jazz in there than than it has been in Maurice's earlier music. Uh, Maurice Kiria music has has like a collective sound. Yeah, it has a collective sound where you can find jazz. You can find some 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 of our local traditional music. I don't really have a genre on Maurice to stick because uh, he has like a lot of colors that he's developing in a lot of uh, songs. I would say Moyo music is a fusion of soul. Soul, the Moyo, plus the, the Africanness fusion of, of soul and African music. It's, it's difficult to describe it just like with, with one or two things. It's kind of in between jazz and pop and, and uh, just like global music. It's, it's an album by a Ugandan. Uh, it's a jazz album. We have not had uh, jazz albums in a very long time. It's very jazzy with his own culture. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy to to define uh, Maurice genre. I guess I guess it's a real crossover between many different styles. Uh, but if you ask me for a word, I would say very soulful, soulful. Uh, a lot of African rhythms. It's also jazzy. It's uh, just free, free soul music. In the beginning, it was just Moyo, which is Ugandan soul music, Ugandan soul and, and folk uh, music, you know, brought together. And over the years, this being my sixth album, uh, the music has evolved, the genre has evolved. I've learned new things, and of course, I've been inspired by many sounds. And it's more jazzy, but still carrying all the traits from the old albums. And that's Misuba, or The Book of Kiria, Moyo, Free Dreams, and Beyond Myself. And I'm pretty excited for people to hear this. And I think it belongs on the big stage. <laughs> I think so. <gasps> yeah. Hi, my name is Maurice Kiria, and I'd like to introduce you to my brand new album, The Road to Kiria. Oh, uliranga kaimba kano Nkubira Nzekwe waganza newera vira Ngenda na yebuli jemba Ndera mbaloza kuhuli wemba Ndera sijukile visera mwetuave Ndera yali nkaluna yeka tivaba Ndera Was a